Today, I'm going to be talking about culture and why it needs to be preserved. What is culture? Culture is basically ideas or customs or social behavior of a particular place, for example, like a city or a country or even a society. Growing up, I was encouraged to uh, go to dance classes and music classes so it has been a major impact in my life. And I was also encouraged and taken to concerts related to them. There are many reasons of why culture is, can be important. But here are four main reasons why I think culture is important. Number one, ancestry. Culture is, when we learn about culture, we also learn about our past, tracing back to our family roots. Culture is like a history book, and it can only be read with interest. Culture is the only evidence that the future can look back to, so it's our duty to learn and know about it. It's like a bridge that connects the pr present and past, and one day the future. Number two, discipline. When we start learning about our culture, we, we uh, and le start learning about our past, we learn that they had certain rules and norms that they followed. These rules and norms were pretty simple. They did not have today's technology, but they found happiness in simple things. If we try to enforce this, these rules and norms into our life, then our society will be much more disciplined and behaved. Responsibility. When we start following these rules or norms, we, we gain responsibility. We start taking uh, responsibility of our actions instead of blaming it to others. And this will form a much more mature, uh, a mature and responsible society. The last one is moral values. Folklores and epics. All of them try to tell all of these stories. They, all, they try to convey one simple message. How you can learn from your mistakes and how you can be a good human or try. So when a person is ha uh, fa faces a problem, he, he or she can look back to this and it, the, it will guide them to become a, a better human being and have a more successful life. Now let's talk about more uh, how cult the different forms of culture. And I'm focusing on India. India is famous for many things. It's famous for its food, yoga, and meditation. But today, I'm going to be talking about dance and music. Why dance? Dance is a way of expressing one's emotion through movement, and it unites everyone. It can be different in many ways, and it's not only related to culture, but a very good exercise, too. In India, there are two forms of dances, classical and folk. Classical dance like Bharatnatyam, Kathak, and Odissi are pretty famous. But folk dances like Terukute and Yakshagana are not being performed anymore. All these dances need a song to dance to or rhythm to move to. And this is where music plays a very important role in India. Music can change, music can change anyone's emotion any place and any time. In India, there are two types of music, classical and folk. In classical, it's furthermore divided into Karnataka and Hindustani. Some of the famous musicians are Bombay Jayashree and M.S. Uh, Subalakshmi. Folk songs like Ghumar and Lavni are also not being performed anymore. But why are they not being performed anymore? There are many reasons of why these dances or songs are not being performed anymore. But the three main reasons why I think they are not is westernization, colonization, and death and disease. Westernization. The younger generation want to adapt to the Western culture and want to be trendy and fashionable so that they can fit into the society. Colonization. The British ruled India for nearly 400 years. And at this time, India changed econ economically and also in, edu edu in education-wise. Though India had, uh, the Indian education system became much stronger, 
Today's generation, the students are focused more into studies and projects rather than giving importance to or taking time to learn new dance forms or music or even painting. And the last one is death and disease. For example, in the Indus Valley civilization, they, they faced extreme climate changes, and because of this, they had many infectious diseases. This caused early death, and this shows that there were not many people to uh, record what their culture was, for example, what dance they danced, or what their songs meant, or what did their paintings depict. In conclusion, what I'm trying to say is culture is something very important, no matter where you're from, and it's never too late to learn about it and know about it and spread it around the world. Thank you.